Let us find the value of the square root of i. So, quick background first. We know that a complex number, z, takes the form x plus yi, where x is the real part, and yi is the imaginary part. And we know that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So, what if we need to find the square root of i? So, basically, this value should also be a complex number. So, I will try to equate it to a complex number form, x plus yi first, wherein we need to find the value of x and y in the equation. So, since we need to find the value of x and y, that will make this complex number equal to square root of i, I can create two equations in two unknowns, x and y. So, how will I do that? So, I will manipulate this equation. I'll try to remove the square root of the i. So, I'll square both sides of the equation. So, square root of i square, you can cancel the square root and the square. We are left with i. And then, expanding the square of the binomial on the right side, we can have x square plus 2xyi plus yi squared. Or, if we have yi squared, it's the same as y squared, i squared. But, based on the definition of i, if we have i squared, squaring these both sides, we can have i is equal to negative 1. So, I can replace i squared here with negative 1. Therefore, I will have i is equal to x squared plus 2xyi then minus y squared. And then I can combine all the constant terms, those terms that don't have i. This is x squared minus y squared. So I have x squared minus y squared. This will be the real part of the complex number. Plus, the imaginary part is this one that includes the i. So that will be 2xyi. And this right side is all equal to the left side, which is just i now. And then to create an equation, I can equate the coefficients. So by the way, this i on the left side, so that it takes the form x plus y i, I can add 0 so that the 0 is the real part and this 1 i is the imaginary part. So equating the real part, I can have 0 is equal to to x square minus y square while equating the imaginary part just the coefficient of the i we can have 1 is equal to 2xy so i can solve this system of equations in two unknowns x and y so i will try to solve for y here in terms of x so i can divide both sides by 2x so, I have y is equal to, canceling the 2x, 1 over 2x. And then, I will plug in this value for y so that the equation will be in terms of x. So, I can have 0 is equal to x squared minus y, substitute as 1 over 2x, then don't forget the square. So, simplifying, we have 0 is equal to x squared minus 1 over 2x, so distribute the exponent, so that will be 1 square over 2x square, or that's basically 1 over 2x square, that's 4x square. So I can combine the right side as a single fraction, so this x squared has an invisible denominator of 1, so the LCD of 1 and 4x square is 4x square. So, 4x squared divided by 1, that's 4x squared, times the numerator x squared, so that will be 4x to the 4th. Minus 4x squared divided by 4x squared, it's 1, times 1, 1, equal to 0 on the left. So, this equation will only be equal to 0 if the numerator is equal to 0, right? So, therefore, I can equate the numerator 4x to the 4th minus 1, to 0. Then solving this equation for x, I can 
add 1 to both sides first. So I can have 4x to the 4th, cancel the 1, equal to 0 plus 1 or 1. Then dividing both sides by 4, canceling out 4, we have x to the 4th is equal to 1 fourth. Then to solve for x, eliminate the 4th power of x, I can get the 4th root of both sides. So canceling out this 4, and the fourth root, I can have x. So the right side should have a plus minus in front since we get an even root which is fourth root of one fourth. So that will be plus minus fourth root of one fourth. So we can have x is equal to plus minus. So we can distribute the radical. So fourth root of one over fourth root of four. So this fourth root of one, that's just equal to one. How about the fourth root of 4? So you can still reduce the index 4 here by uh, transforming the 4 into exponential expression as 2 square. And then fourth root means raising the base to 1 fourth, right? So therefore, you have 2 squared raised to 1 fourth. By power to power law, you need to multiply the exponents 2 times 1 fourth. So that will be 2 times 1 fourth or 1 half. And then transforming back to radical, 2 raised to 1 half is equal to the square root of 2. So therefore, we have two solutions for x. One is positive 1 over square root of 2. And the other one is negative 1 over square root of 2. Now we need to solve the value for y. Let's go back to the equations. So... Remember that y is equal to 1 over 2x. So if y is equal to positive 1 over square root of 2, y is equal to 1 over 2x, substituting the x which is 1 over the square root of 2. So we will have, so that will be 1 over 2 over square root of 2, or you should get the reciprocal of this 1 times the numerator, y is equal to square root of 2 over 2. For the other solution, if x is negative, this should be negative 1 over the square root of 2. y is also equal to 1 over 2x, but substituting the value of x, which is negative 1 over square root of 2. Likewise, it will be 1 over negative 2 over square root of 2. And getting the reciprocal of negative 2 over square root of 2 times the numerator 1. That will be negative square root of 2 over 2. So, therefore, we have two solutions. So, square root of i is equal to x plus yi. For the first solution, we have the pair of x being 1 over square root of 2 positive. So, 1 over the square root of 2 plus the value of y being equal to square root of 2 over 2i. And then, another solution will be, if we consider the second one, x is negative 1 over square root of 2. So, substitute here. Negative 1 over square root of 2 plus y, which is also negative square root of 2 over 2. So, we have minus square root of 2 over 2i. So, therefore, we have two solutions, right? Remember that if we get the cube root of any complex number, there should also be at most two solutions. So that's why we get two solutions in the square root of i.